Welcome Geminis, I'm back with another video for y'all. So this is going to be a general read guys, so it may or may not resonate, okay? So don't come in the comment section talking all the noise, talking about, oh, it does this, this, that, 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 that. Take what applies and leave the rest, okay? If it doesn't apply to you, then check your moon and your rising videos, okay? If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, as well as order the money magnet oil or order a t-shirt or a mask, all that information is going to be in the description box, okay? So general read. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at your feelings and how you view your person, their feelings and how they view you. Then I'll do a, you know, like a mini quick read to kind of put the story together. All right, so let's see what we got. Y'all, please don't mind my nails. I know they're looking a little crazy, but don't mind my nails, okay? So, ooh, it's a little messy shuffle. All right, let's see. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, what messages are there for my Gemini? <laughs> it's a fish. You know that I miss you, yeah, yeah. Oh, that song is always in my head. I like every stranger. Ooh. And I. All right, let's see how you view your person. Official Edison, you. I thought that from this heartache I could escape. But I run it long enough to know. Somebody here started a business or started a new job. Or someone here wants a new beginning, a new start. Okay, we got the hangman. I got the nine of pentacles and the eight of cups and the wheel of fortune here. All right, so you may view this person as, you know, they're they're um, very focused on themselves. Like, you may feel like they are in a place where they're focused on their pentacles, they're focused on self-love, they're focused on their independence, okay? It's like the best thing that this person could do. It's like this person, you feel like this person, if this person walked away or walked away from a situation or something in that nature, you feel like it was the best thing that they could do is to focus on the, on themselves. Um, I feel like someone here, you may feel like there's something creative that this person creates. Um, it's very creative. They may have started a business or they started a new job. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Somebody here started something. They started a new job or a new business. But whatever it is, it was like shocking and surprising to you that they made this type of move. Okay. You didn't see, you didn't know that they had this in them. Ten of Swords and the Strength card. You really didn't know that they had this in them. <laughs> you really didn't know. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Sun card. Like, you're happy for this person. It could be a Libra. I got the Justice card here. They could have been dealing with the court system or had something going on. But now it looks like they're trying to get things together. Okay. So... I'm getting like they're making, you feel like they made a decision to take a leap of faith. They decided to take a leap of faith. And now it looks like they're getting themselves together with the four of wands with stability. Okay. Yeah. Like you got the nine of wands and the lovers. Like, I feel like you're happy for this person. Like you are genuinely happy for this person. Why is the hangman here? Yeah. You're waiting to see if this person is going to want to come back to you. To work on this, on you guys' relationship. But you do see this person that's very focused on themselves right now. And working on getting them together. Their money, their finances, their career. Whatever it is that they're focused on. It looks like business. It's, I'm seeing like they're focused on their money. You, you view them as very much so like, you know, they started something good and you're happy for them. And then you're going to kind of like just, you know, put... You possibly put the relationship on pause because you felt like this person needed to get themselves together. 
But I feel like you want to do with the Knight of Wands. You want this person to come back around to you. I feel like you got you guys, you know, communicate with each other, keep in touch with each other. Yeah, the Four of Wands. Like, keep in touch with each other. Four of Wands and the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. See, you, see, you view this person. You have a lot of respect for this person, okay? With the Emperor and this could be an older person. This person could be very older than you. But you feel like this person is finding themselves... Um, and you can dig it. I feel like you're digging it. 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 Yeah, three of cups and the, the four of wands. Like, yeah, like you, you're digging this vibe. So let's see how they view you. I'm just happy to see a better read for my Geminis. Because Geminis... Y'all have been going through it. Like the, the Geminis who can resonate with my past few readings. You guys have been going through some things. And it looks like you guys are kind of like, you know, on a different wave. And I'm digging that. All right. So let's see. I think, okay, we did how you viewed them. Let's see how they view you. How do they view my Gemini? Ooh, we got the star card. Yeah, I feel like they hope that you can wait on them. <laughs> they hoping that you can wait on them because I feel like they want to work together with you. They want to build with you. They want to build something with you. How they view Gemini? Yes, they hoping that you'll give them a second chance, but they aren't sure. They aren't sure if you're going to be willing to give them a second chance. And then we got the Ace of Cups. Yes, 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 yes. Lots of hope and faith. And I feel like this Ace of Cups, definitely, like, there's emotion, there's love here. Why well, is the star card here? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Well, no, we're on Gemini. So, okay, yeah, see, they're hoping that you give them another chance with the Queen of Cups. They're hoping that you give them that, you know, that sensual side, okay? They're hoping that you'll show them care and compassion and i feel like you talk about finances with this person like they view you as somebody that they could talk to about their money talk to about their career talk about long-term goals okay long-term goals and like they knew that you were going to be surprised with their new idea something that they came up with okay mine's the judgment card here Yeah, I feel like they're tired of being looked at and judged. Um, but they feel like people look at them the wrong way or take them the wrong way and judge them and say that, you know, give that five of swords energy. That's somebody who's very sneaky and, you know, their ways are kind of real messed up. Okay. Judgment card. They may feel like you judged them before, but, you know, they're not, they feel like I'm not like that no more. Yeah, two of cups. They want to be together. They want to come together with you. Yes, the two of cups and the four of wands. They want to take things to a higher level. Okay, they want to take things to a to a higher level. Definitely long term marriage engagement. They do want to take this. This is actually the twin flame card. This is soulmate card. Like they really, really, they really, really um, adore you. Like, they want to take things. They want to build with you. They want to build something long-term with you. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Three of Wands. They just waiting for you to give them the say-so. When you ready. When you ready, all you got to do is let me know, baby, I'm right here. <laughs> they think about you all the time. They think about you. You're always constantly on their mind. Why is the Three of Wands here? Yes, the moon. Oh, we got regrets here, crying over spilled milk. They got you got this person crying, begging, pleading. See, when y'all talk on the phone, I'm getting like when y'all talk on the phone, or I feel like y'all keeping in contact with each other, and they could be expressing their regrets, like something that they did in the past that they didn't do right. There, you know, yeah. See, I'm getting an apology with the page of cups and the three of swords. Yeah. Okay, so if you haven't gotten an apology from this person, this person wants to apologize, and they are going to apologize. Um, they're just waiting. They're just waiting on the right moment, but definitely an apology on the table about something that happened in the past. Four of Cups. Yeah, see, they didn't. They didn't say anything. They haven't said this yet. They haven't given you this apology yet. 
But yeah, see, they want to make things right. The magician and the temperance card. They want to make things right. And we got the empress here. They're watching you with this page of swords. They're definitely spying on you, but they want to work on this. They want to build with you. They want to work on this relationship and a higher level of commitment with the tower fan. They want to give you a real commitment. <laughs> They want to give that to you now. I feel like they screwed up in the past, but they want to give that to you now. <laughs> All right, so let's do this quick mini read, and then I'm going to get out you guys' hair. All right, so let's get an overall message for Gemini, just so I can kind of piece this story together. Ooh. We got the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician. The two of pentacles. Somebody needs to make up their mind if they want to be single or not. <laughs> oh, because somebody's getting restless. Somebody here could be offering money or offering gifts, giving gifts. Um, they Somebody here is ready for somebody to make up their mind. We got the hermit card. And we got the six of wands. Woo! All right, so I feel like there's a decision that you guys need to make. Yeah, see, y'all may have a decision between two people. The two of pentacles and the lovers is definitely, like, make up your mind who you want to be with, okay? Do you want to be single with this nine of pentacles? Do you want to remain single? Um, or are you tired of being single? Why is the hermit card here? Yeah, see, look, you were looking for a relationship from this person in the past with the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. But there is something like there was an ending or a, a betrayal. Somebody felt disrespected. Like, don't disrespect me. I'm even getting like, like I said, um, the Seven of Wands is somebody being forced or you feeling forced to have to do something. Or this is even like with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. This could have been like a domestic situation, okay? Yeah, someone called the police. See, the I'm getting called the police with the page of pentacles and the justice card. Like, somebody had to call the police, and I'm just getting it. Or somebody had to call uh, some type of authority figure, okay? Because somebody found out that somebody was sneaking around and cheating. Okay, so... That's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm getting here. So now you're at a place where you have, you're have you trying to make up your mind whether you want to be with this person or not. And you're thinking about it. Like you're in meditative, you're in a meditative state. Like you're thinking about it. Why is the four swords here? Because you wanted this from this person. Yeah, you're tired of arguing. You were tired of arguing with this person. You're tired of going back and forth with this person. You're tired of this person manipulating you, playing with your, playing with your feelings. So, this is something that you wanted from this person before. You was looking for that from this person before. Okay. So, why is the Six of Wands here in the future? Yep. Yep. See, this person is telling you that they've changed. We got the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Pentacles. That is nothing but luck. Okay. That is nothing but luck and good, you know, like, great energy. Okay, we got two of wands and a nine of swords. So they may be wanting to make plans with you and get you to come around. Look at this, the three of cups. Y'all might y'all may be reuniting with this person to heal this relationship, okay? Y'all might be deciding to go back to this person. Okay. For some of you, you were contemplating a divorce, okay, with the hierophant and the ten of swords. This person is very dominant. We got the Emperor and the King of Wands could be dealing with the Aries. Um, but this person is very, very dominant and very strong-minded and very, like, likes to be in control. But that's the thing that you need to be careful for, careful about in this situation. Like, if this person is very controlling or wants to control you or is very possessive over you, then you need to tell this person they need to go get some counseling, some therapy, okay? Because as a human being, you should never feel like you got to control another another adult, okay? If you, When you have children, you control them. And 
you should control your own selves, not controlling, not trying to control another grown ass adult. Okay, so make sure that you guys are, you know, thinking things through um, and make your demands. If you decide to go back to, to this person, make your demands and say exactly what it is that you want. If there's things that you're just not going to put up with, set those boundaries. Okay. All right, my loves. I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.